Hello friends, how is everybody doing? And thank you so much for stopping by and watching my channel. I appreciate it. I do hope that everybody is doing well and especially trying to stay cool and stay hydrated. Damn, this weather is driving me crazy. It's so extremely hot and humid. I don't know about your end, but here, in America, oh my goodness, you know, I, this is just driving me nuts. Sometimes I feel like I'm draining out. But anyway, all about me. So stay cool and stay hydrated. Drink a lot of fluids. Okay, today I'm going to be talking about family systems and family values. Okay, I really want to talk about this because I personally think that family is extremely important in everybody's life. You know, it's really, really, you know, important in our personal growth and development right from childhood to who we are. Remember, family is the first, you know, human contact that we have after we were born we you know we saw our parents our our daddy our mommy our siblings you know um before we even you know um started seeing other people you know we spend significant amount of time growing up in the family before it's even the school age so this is why you know family it's 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 extremely important you know not only that they are our identity they are our home our anchor you know and then um, and our anchor and then um, and a place you know to run back to when all the chips goes down because guess what no matter you know how angry the family you know families are with you as soon as you get in trouble or have certain you know situations they are always going to be there for you now i also recognize that you know some families are you know some people you know are failed by their families you know and then um you know this is very sad and i'm very sorry you know and i feel so sorry for anybody that is going through this because it's really very difficult you know it's a very difficult thing to live with a sense of betrayal that you know um people in your life the very people that are supposed to you know look after you and this very people that are supposed to be there for you you know has failed you that is absolutely very sad and you know my my heart and my sympathy goes out to you but at the same time i will also encourage you to try to um try everything um, in your um, in your capacity to fix or to you know uh, fix these uh, differences between your family members you know you know there is a, there is nothing there is no situation that you know communication cannot solve okay most of the time there is a communication meltdown there's a communication breakdown that you know everybody is bottling up resentment you know and there is we're not communicating it we're not finding a way to communicate with certain you know our certain family members that offended us you know i you know anger is a natural thing so and yeah you can be angry absolutely but you know we at a point we have to also get over our anger and stop letting our emotion take greater part of us and have to you know make an attempt to come to a table to sit down with families to talk about these issues okay and during that communication you will also understand you know uh, that some you know maybe whatever your assumption is may not be the case okay so i will encourage you you know it's hard but i will encourage you to try to find a way to resolve issues with your family that's always going to be that uh, that one big person that adult in the room and that adult is the one that is going to start you know the conflict resolution and the you know crisis management in the family you know family dynamic can be very very um 
very very complicated you know so there are people of the different family members have different characters different personalities different be behaviors so yeah so nobody is guaranteed that you know um, no family is perfect but you know we also do have a responsibility to do our own part by you know doing whatever we have to do to maintain the peace and the family equilibrium to maintain the together the togetherness the cohesiveness of the family you know so because at the end of the day this is who we are our family are we and we are our families okay so um this uh <laughs> this these thoughts about people you know uh trying to um this you know lie to themselves that they can you know live out their life just with friends and cut off all their families you know this this is just this is as disingenuous as it comes this is as incongruent as it comes because you know what you cannot disconnect you cannot cut off certain part of your body that's what family is okay they are integral part of you you cannot cut off certain part of your body you can you will, you you are always going to feel that some uh, certain part of you is missing okay so yeah it's just our ego you know that sometimes stop us from going back or uh, you know trying to resolve issues you know but you know uh sometimes you know as, as especially when we grow older you know we need to you know sometimes keep our ego under control and have to our ego and our emotion under control and have to do what we have to do so that being said you know um I cannot, you know, I am very mortified and horrified about this new, 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 um, about this new normal of some celebrities parading themselves in the, in all the national, you know, uh, global platform and in all the media trashing their families on any spewing, you know, horrible things and are making allegations about their families you know what is wrong with these people this is not an acceptable behavior it is not a way of living it is not it's not uh, uh it, 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 it's not a way of life it's unacceptable behavior nobody does that before prior before these two people you know enter into the global stage we haven't recorded any celebrity or any people you know coming over in their life you know in their in a live tv trashing their families it has never been done because there is certain things that you cannot just do okay you can we are all we all have problems with our families of course, some families are very dysfunctional, including mine, okay? Families are very dysfunctional, some of them. It's just a few families that are very functional, okay? And so because of that, you know, it is not, it does not justify any reason or, you know, justify anybody coming out to the global stage to trash their family. Guess what? You are trashing yourself because you are the product of that family, okay you are the representation of that family if you are saying you know uh despicable things about your family you are trashing your own self because what you are the out you are the product of that family so you are no different from the family that you're trashing so yeah and um that being said then is um this 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 idea of you know people you know cutting off their their parents you know cutting their parents permanently and forever from their life how does people how do they sleep at night i can't just understand it i've been thinking about this and you know trying to you know figure out how anybody could possibly cut off their parents i don't care what they do to you okay you know this sometimes these parents doesn't have a lot of times to spend in the world i don't care what anybody do to you that you cannot forgive not just parents anybody okay especially those of us that tag themselves as christians i don't care what anybody that, 
you know, do to you that you can never forgive, okay, that you, you hold on to and you'll be angry about it and it follows you down to your grave. Let alone your parents. Anybody that's exhibiting this behavior is very cruel very heartless because it takes no soul for anybody you know uh this is very absolutely very abnormal behavior okay you take you know is some um, you, you can't you know it takes a heart to stick it up to your parents okay and um you know holding your gun while you know preaching compassion and kindness this, 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 this cannot be the new normal. This couple are, you know, are representing everything that is abnormal, that is wrong in the world. Everything from, you know, um, murdering and attacking family, mem uh, family, family systems and family values. Okay. How could you sit down, shamelessly sit down, on a global platform and throw grenades upon grenades on your family? Nobody cares. We all have our family issues and family moments and we're trying to deal with it. So I recommend that this, 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 uh, this, this man baby or this uh, uh, you know this this these kids because they are really kids they're not acting like adults go back to their families and try to fix this problem because we are tired of hearing it okay that is number one they need to stop we need to push back and stop these people from modeling everything immoral okay to the younger generation because kids cannot grow with this kind of behavior we have we parents have a lot of responsibility to protect our children from many things that they consume from social media and and everything they consume from the streaming you know, the streaming giants like Netflix and Spotify and all of that. This is why, this is what got us here. This is what got the world in this whole mess. Because all of a sudden, the very wrong people with a very, you know, despicable character and have, that have no, you know, no character are now on the, on the front line to be the influencers. To tell everybody else how to live their life. We just have to push back. We just have to protect our children from these undue negative, you know, influences. We need our family. This is who that is going to be there for us the moment our eyes close in death. They are the one that is going to celebrate our life, you know, make sure that we get a funeral, make sure that we are put down, uh, down six feet below. Most of that, those friends might not even be there for you because most of the time they're not even friends. They're trying to get one thing or the other from you. So, I will encourage everybody to try to heal the rift between them and their family. And please don't let anybody fool you. Don't let any spouse, you know, cause you to have to break up with your own family of origin. Any spouse that is doing that to you is a classical abuser because that's a strategy to cut you off from your loved ones. From, from your family, from your friends, so they can be able to manipulate you and they can be able to control your life. That is a red flag of abuse when 
anyone is trying to cut you off or to separate you from your own family. And for those of people, those, those that is saying, oh, uh, somebody is, is, you know, trashing his family because he wants to protect his wife or because he wants to be loyal to his wife, you have, shame on you. Because you don't even know what you're talking about. If you know what is abuse, you, you absolutely does not know what you're talking about. You don't have to burn bridges with your family or give up your family of origin in order to stay in marriage. That's an abuse. Thank you so much, my friends. And again, thanks for stopping by. And appreciate your moment. And I appreciate, I appreciate your time. Have a nice day evening. Bye.